Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Cross Watcher, please only claim this energy in a helpful, positive way or not at all. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Cancer, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Cancer. Guys, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody who is in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how. We're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah. Cancer. Romance angels first for cancer. Romance angels for cancer. Please and thank you, ancestors. May I have one more? Just one more. Please. Thank you. Okay, so here you go. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So for some of you, you're about to run into a soulmate. And for some of you, there could be religious factors affecting your love life. You know, your religious upbringing or spiritual path could be interfering. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I will tell you that, you know, obviously you're esoteric, metaphysical, and you're here watching tarot. This could be a problem for a lot of people that don't understand it. You really got to feel sorry for them. Show me. Cancer, please and thank you. Cancer, what's going on in the land of Cancer? Cancer, we have... Okay, a five of cups coming out in reverse. With a five of cups in reverse, somebody's finding peace with the past. Whatever that is, you know, somebody's coming to some kind of clarity and acceptance. And this is affording, whether they liked it or not, accepting things for the way they were, forgiving everybody for everything, including themselves, and moving forward. Five of cups in reverse. To find contentment and happiness. It's about acceptance. It's, show me. Show me. Cancer. Cancer, please and thank you. Okay. Make it hit. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Here you go. You got a three of swords in reverse. Somebody's healing. Listen, if you're going to get a three of swords, I tell you all the time, this is the way you want it. Somebody healed over some kind of a situation from the past. So putting it behind them now and then moving forward. There's a lot of forgiveness here. And because of that, you know, clarity, acceptance, like I said, healing, you can move forward and be happy. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. There's a knight of cups at the foundation of the situation. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So somebody had some kind of interest that they wanted to explore. Somebody might have wanted to seduce somebody. Somebody caught some feels for somebody. Somebody could have extended an invitation or a gesture or whatever interest they had. Now, crowding you, here's the problem. Oh, God, you got a magician in reverse. The magician in reverse, Gemini energy. This is somebody who's manipulate, manipulative. Manipulative. <laughs> Cancer. Cancer, I'm sick. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best here. The magician in reverse. Call back my energy. Somebody who's very manipulative. I can't believe I said that. I'm so proud of myself right now. <laughs> I really am. All right. So, yeah, this is somebody that maybe wants to control. This is somebody who might have some mental illness. This is somebody who's very cunning and deceitful. It's the magician in reverse. It's not good. Somebody who manifests some kind of bullshit. You know, it really is. Somebody could, yeah. All right. Somebody could be... 45 here or 54 the ninth could be of significance the third march or may all right now here we go now you got the high priestess in reverse mink yachts what's going on here now you have somebody who might have some kind of an uncontrollable outburst this is a very manipulative energy the high priestess in reverse here pisces energy now this is somebody who might have some kind of ulterior motives so they're going to try to either put up some kind of illusion or blow some kind of smoke up somebody's ass here this is what I don't like this. I got to be honest. Um, mm, what are we going to do for you? I don't know. But with the high priestess in reverse, I'm telling you, you you know, somebody's intuition is blocked. That's for damn sure, Cancer. Don't let it be yours. Yeah, let me see. You got somebody around you that's trying to manipulate you and you feel it. Like, don't ignore your, uh, yeah. Somebody can, yeah, because you're looking at this person like the Knight of Wands. See, all right, so you're perceiving this person to be very charismatic and fun and, like, maybe they really want to, they have some interest in you and you're liking this person. This person, you know, maybe you're sexually attracted to this person, but this person is trying to manipulate you in some way for their benefit. 
This person might have controllable, uncontrollable outbursts. This person might be very loud. This person might be bipolar or have some kind of mental illness. There could be Gemini, Pisces, here, fire. Show me what else is going on. Ah, you have, look, in your environment, you're going through some kind of painful ending. Now, whatever this is, you got the Ten of Swords. It's the end, good, bad, or indifferent. Something is over forever here, all right? So, I just want to say, if this is the same person that you're going through an ending with, be careful, because they might come in all charming, and, you know, you might already be really attracted to this person, or there's a lot of passion or something like this, but they have ulterior motives, okay? And what they're up to is not good, and it's something self-serving. And I think you're like the sack. Yeah, well, let me see what's going on. What's the best advice to cancer? Please and thank you. I don't like this. It's temper your emotions. Listen, you better maintain some kind of balance about yourself, okay? Uh, this is an inner calm and inner peace and inner, you know, perspective and tranquility. Don't let this person throw you off your game, all right? Don't let them do that. Don't let them make you lose your temper because that's what they want. Oh, cancer. That's what they want. This person might want to make you lose your temper so you look like a crazy person you got to use your intuition all right this person might be trying to manipulate you for some reason it's for their higher power whatever it is it looks like something's got to come to an end there so don't just make sure you you maintain some kind of um perspective on this all right understand where this is coming from maybe they don't like you know that you moved on you're happy here or something or you're not you know this person might want to keep you in some kind of emotional pain and that you're not or you're healing from it they don't like this with ten swords, let me tell you something. That's you know, that's meant to kill you, whatever it is. So show me what's going on here. The most likely outcome oh, listen. You are gonna heal from this. You have hope for your future. This is happiness. This is the star. This is some kind of renewal. This is miracles. This is an inner clarity. Maybe some of you are gonna be in the spotlight. The 17th could be of significance, or that reduces to eight. Something about the month of August. Ah, somebody give me 42 here. Listen. This is what? Maintain your balance so you don't blow whatever whatever blessings this is. You don't want to blow your blessings. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, yeah, because this person might be trying to throw you off your game for some reason. I'm telling you. To make you lose your temper. So this is why Spirit's advising you. Don't do it. Don't play into this bullshit, whatever they got going on here. This is highly manipulative. Yeah, so whoever that is that you know in your energy that could be that way, this is who it is. All right? And, you know. Then listen, four of pentacles, hold back. This is my card of holding back energy on any level, Cancer. Don't let anybody know what you're thinking, feeling, how much money you have, any material goods, your words, your thoughts. Don't let this person get in your head and know what you're thinking. Don't say anything because that's, they're going to turn it around and manipulate you with it. And look at this with the fuck. They want to cause conflict. They want to fight. This person wants you to, yeah, this is about tension and hostilities and fighting. They want to cause some kind of fighting here. And I think it's to make you look, look at this. Look at this, cancer. Listen to me. Hold back. Look what this person's up to. Somebody could be 61 here. 51. Six, June, this is, listen, do you see May? This could be happening in May. You got the five of wands and the five of swords. This person wants to win at all costs. This person is highly manipulative in a very dark way. They want to fight. They want to make you fight. So this way, they want to, listen, just remember what Spirit's advising you. Anytime you're ready to pop off or maybe you want to, like, this person does something fucked up, walk away, walk away, walk away. Maintain your balance because if you don't, you are going to lose whatever this is. Whatever wish is coming true, whatever miracles are happening for you, whatever, you know, happiness and renewal and hope that you have is going to be taken away because this is son of a bitch. Yeah, this is a son of a bitch. All right. Now, what else we got over here? Yeah, maintain balance. There's going to be something. There could be something. Somebody's watching and there's going to be some kind of surprise and shock. There could be something coming up in court. Oh, listen. This could be like a thing. I'm going to give you an example. Let's just say you're in some kind of court situation, right? And they, this person has to make you look bad so they can win something. Whatever it is, they can win the court case. Whatever the case is. It's, a, it's an example, right? It doesn't have to be that. It could be something else. If this person makes you lose your shit and they make you look crazy because they're doing some cunning manipulative shit over here that's really underhanded, they're going to make you lose. They're going to make you lose. you got to win here. So don't let this asshole take it away from you. Maintain the balance because you'll be okay then. Let's get a couple of these. Let me see what we have here. We have Gemini and Pisces, Sagittarius and Aquarius. Show me. Libra. Yeah, I don't like this energy. They're coming in very 
with ulterior motives. Now, we got the Four of Wands. Okay, so Four of Wands does talk about, you know, some kind of community happiness, some kind of, you know, family maybe around you. Four of Wands talks about um, celebrations and this could be a reunion. Somebody could be coming home. This could be somebody in your family. This could be somebody in your family or in your social group or in your community. You know, like maybe you're getting some kind of... All right, here's another example. You may be getting to like some kind of little fender bender innocently with with a neighbor. Now this neighbor's going to make you look like maybe you're a crazy drunk or something. You know what I mean? If you lose your temper, you're going to look bad. And they're going to win. In the meantime, they're the one that backs into you with some stupid shit like this. Right? Yeah, you have an ace of one. Something new and passionate, okay? There's a new passionate beginning here for you. See, this is part of this star energy. There's a new passionate beginning here for you that, you know... You're gonna, it's gonna light a match under your ass. It's gonna make you feel very warm and alive. It's new energy, okay? And it might have something to do with some kind of community or family or support around you, or maybe some kind of reunion. Somebody can be 41 here. That's that, something significant be, could be happening in May. 555, 555 five, five, five megahertz, 555 five, five hertz. That's healing past trauma. It's also connection to your fifth dimension, cancer. Let's see. One more. Give me a couple more for cancer. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Wait a minute, cancer. That one went flying, but I'm going to get it. What do we have here? We have the king of wands. Okay. Leo energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But somebody's going to take the lead. You might have some kind of a um, fire sign. Somebody that has fire higher in the chart coming in. A masculine who's... Very strong, very self-assured, action-oriented. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so you know, listen. You do have the nine of wands. Somebody might be being very stubborn and want things their way. Okay, this is, yeah. With the nine of wands, yeah. This is about, you know, not giving up. <laughs> not taking no for an answer. Being very persistent. Maybe having very strong boundaries. Yeah, somebody could be really putting down some... This may be you. Maybe you're putting down some boundaries here with this energy. You should. Okay? I'm just telling you. Maybe like something Mexican. Somebody could be an accountant here. I'm mean, seeing an accountant. Okay, you got the you got the Knight of Pentacles. So some kind of effort being put into it. And it could be some kind of financial situation for you. Or a financial foundation. You could be building anything. But somebody might want to come in and put some effort in. This could be a job offer. Show me what's going on. Like, remember I said somebody could be an accountant here or something like this? Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could really just be finding out they're pregnant. Okay. Somebody might have some kind of a stomach ailment. I'm seeing somebody with a stomach, stomach drinking tea or something like this. Show me. One more. There you go. Thank you. You have the seven of pentacles in river. Somebody's losing patience in a situation here. With something that they want to build. Maybe it's taking a long time. Somebody's got to be very slow and methodical in what they're doing here. You do have a three of wands. You know, somebody is going to be taking the lead here and, and moving forward. It's about gaining momentum, okay? Excuse me. Yeah. Let's get you a couple of these. So this is really good energy. I mean, it is. You just got to be careful of whoever this manipulative son of a bitch is. Yeah, please. So you have a main character, some kind of masculine here. The first could be of significance. This could be the person that's being manipulative. This person might be Leo, Pisces, or have it in their chart. Maybe Gemini, maybe Aquarius, maybe Sagittarius. Show me. What is this person doing? This person. Okay, prison. Somebody might be getting out of jail. Somebody might be going to jail. Remember I said there could be a legal situation? Remember I just said there could be a legal situation here? And somebody makes you look crazy, maybe you'll wind up with your ass in jail. There's prison here. This could be the thing. Somebody could be 29 or 31, the 4th, 32, the 5th. This could be happening, you know. Somebody might be stuck up in their head, though. It could be a prisoner of your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings. But somebody could be going up straight. There could be a situation here where there's a legal situation and, like, three hots and a cot is on the line here. So if you know, you know, if this person... You, uh, another situation I'm getting is, like, let's say there's an insurance situation. Somebody hurt themselves. Now you got the insurance adjuster following you around to see if you're full of shit. You take that cast off and you, you know, you really are full of shit. They catch you. This is what? Maybe you could go to jail for four. Something like this. I don't know. Fuck what the fuck you're doing. You don't want to wind up, you know. Yeah. Show me one more for cancer. Please and thank you. Cancer. What's cancer? The highest, the best thing for cancer. Yeah. Listen. Something about mosaic tiling. I'm, I'm seeing mosaic tiling. When somebody's stuck in their thoughts, I'm telling you. Remember I just said somebody could be a prisoner in their head and their thoughts? Well, there you go. 61 could be of significance. 7 July. I'm telling you something. Somebody could be stuck up in their head here. Here. 
you have a... Uh, well, somebody might rob... Now, well, look, there's another whole thing. Somebody's sorry that they robbed something because now their ass is going to wind up in prison. You may, it's just, there's a great fortune at stake here. You better be careful. This is why maybe somebody's trying to make you look fucking batshit crazy. You hear me again? Like, with the courts. I'm telling you, this might be somebody you're married to, some of you. That's a really dishonest motherfucker, I'm telling you. Please be careful, Cancer. We love you. Now, let me get you. What do we get in your next? Here, let's get you a couple of these and some letters. By the way, we're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible. Cancer, we love you. There's a picture. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are an eternal soul. For there, you will find true bliss. So, some hot sex. I mean, maybe you're having hot sex with this person and this is how they're going to cloud your judgment. It is important right now to take a step back and spend time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now it's time to give to yourself. See the pretty picture? Give to yourself, Cancer. Because I don't understand what's going on here. You're like a fugazi. There's fugaziness around you, okay? Let's get you some letters and we'll let you go. Thank you again. Here we go. Letters to Cancer, please. Here we go, Cancer. You have. Okay, you have L two L's. Uh, oh, you. Two I's, an R, two U's, P, two E's. All right. Let me see if I can get you a couple more. I, there's a thing about doubles here. Look at all those doubles. Somebody likes RuPaul. Somebody's listening to CDs. Okay, you ready? L L R P C D. Two E's, two I's, two U's, and an O. Thank you, Cancer. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.